Yeah, man. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype, man. Kyrie Irving is going to be a Laker, y'all. Kyrie Irving's going to be a Laker. I don't care how long it takes over this offseason. I don't care what stories you might or might not hear. I don't care what the media tells you. Kyrie Irving's going to be a Los Angeles Laker before the beginning of the next season. That's a that's a that's a fact. That's gospel. That's truth. I'm telling you, man. The man opts in to the last, the last year of his contract, 36 million. That's all he's gonna cost. That's all he's gonna cost. Russell costs 47 million. So not only are the Lakers gonna get a Kyrie Irving, they're gonna end up getting something else. Or, you know what I mean? If it's a three-team trade. They might not get, they might just get Kyrie, but hey, the Spurs, the Spurs just lost De DeJounte Murray. <laughs> the Spurs just lost DeJounte Murray. Okay, ever since they sent Kawhi Leonard out to um, Toronto, they sent Kawhi Leonard out to, to Toronto against his wishes. You know what I mean? No superstars wanting to play there. And no budding superstar. So now they have a, an all-star in DeJounte Murray who doesn't want to re-sign there. He doesn't want to extend his contract there. And they're basically forced to trade him for pieces. So now you have a Spurs who has to pay Keldon Johnson 80-something million dollars, an unproven player, although an Olympian, an unproven player. They have to pay him like he's a star. Because if not, they don't have anybody. If not, they're a sub-40 win team. They're a sub-30 win team, regardless. They can't hang on to anybody. So why would they bring in a Russell Westbrook? Well, hey, how else will you get a Russell Westbrook? How else will you, even if they just take him and buy him out, that's, that's clearing out. That's clearing out salary and getting back pieces. That's clearing out salary and getting back pieces. So this, is th this thing is going to happen, man. Don't listen to the media. They're just guessing. The media doesn't know anything as bad as they want you to think they do. All they can do is start rumors and hope that it's true. But, you know, this whole thing with the Lakers is just cat and mouse. You know, it's just they're playing a game of chicken right now, honestly. So they're making it seem like, yeah, we want to keep Russ and Russ and AD and Braun are hanging out and everything's good. They're acting like there's they're acting like they want to keep Russell Westbrook. But let me tell you this. If anybody, if, you, if you're if you really into this thing and you watch Russell Westbrook's exit interview, if you watch his exit interview, Russell Westbrook ain't playing another minute for the Lakers. <laughs> another minute. I don't care how they have to make it appear because you have to understand this is 1,000% business. This professional sports, you know, although it's a lot of, a lot of it has to do with what narrative can be made it also has to do with the money because that's what's involved is money whatever money's involved it controls the situation we all know that we all know that so of course the lakers have to do everything in their power to make it seem like russell westbrook is somebody that they wouldn't mind retaining they wouldn't mind bringing him back next season and, and working out the last season of his career of course that's what they have to do to keep any of whatever trade value he has he has left to keep it there or to raise it up. That's the only play they have. The only play the Lakers have has is that, okay, nobody else so-called wants Kyrie Irving. He's down for 36 million, okay? Nobody, apparently no other teams are willing to pay him $36 million. And, and the Lakers also don't have LeBron James extending his contract yet. So, the Lakers have to sign Kyrie Irving, but I will say this. Until LeBron James signs an extension, the Nets can still play this game of chess, this, this, this game of chess that they're playing with the Lakers. Because the Nets know they don't know the, that the Lakers don't know the, the future of LeBron James. And they can't really, they can't really move those picks those first round picks the Lakers can't move those picks without LeBron James 
extended because if LeBron leaves to go wherever to play with his son or whatever the case may be, the Lakers are left with nothing if they if they don't have those picks, those first round picks. And um, you're talking about Jeannie Buss getting fired at that point. <laughs> so, you know, Jeannie Buss is, is stringing along the league and trying to start this narrative that they want Russell Westbrook and the coaches in on it. And he's like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm ready to succeed with Russ. And I got some plans and da, 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 da. No, man, no. If y'all want to believe that, then, then you're more basic minded than you should be out here. You know, there's too much smoke for this fire not to be real. You know that. And if you've been watching the league or any of these leagues for this long, the NBA especially though, where there's smoke, there's surely a fire burning. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. Kyrie already knows like, okay, if I can't if I can't move somewhere else with Kevin Durant, who else do I want to play with? Well, he has to look at who he's won with. He has to look at what that franchise is all about. And he has to look at who else has played for that franchise and say, all right, that's where I want to be. And come on, man. Come on. Just because something isn't an immediate thing doesn't mean... Because ultimately, the only reason this isn't done by now is because the Lakers hasn't thrown in another pick. That's the only reason this trade isn't done. That's the only reason this trade isn't done. So Kyrie shut down any other team trading for him when he, put, when he said, I want to play for the Lakers. He shut down any other team pursuing him, period. All right, Russell Westbrook fires his agent who wanted him to stay with the Lakers. The agent says, I want him to stay with the Lakers. And the agents run the league. The agents control the players, basically. The agents direct the players' career path. So these owners don't run the league. You know, it's, it's these agents who can move these players around and, and persuade them to sign at a certain destination or go to a certain place. Don't ever get that twisted. I mean, that's, don't get that twisted. These agents and these players run the NBA. That's the difference between the NBA and all these other leagues. You know, you, you, when Russell Westbrook fires his agent who's telling him to stay with the Lakers, what does that mean to you? That means that he wants out, right? But here we are still having reports, even though him and LeBron or any other of the Lakers players didn't associate, they didn't associate with each other at the Drew League. I mean, at the summer league game. Here we are. Reports of AD, LeBron, and Westbrook on a phone call. Why? Because actually Russell Westbrook playing this game with the Lakers, this chess game with the Lakers, benefits him. If he doesn't want to play for the Lakers, he has to play along. That's the, and he has and obviously he has humbled himself and said, okay, no teams are calling. Let me act right. Let me play along with the Lakers. Because now he's back on it. Now all of a sudden, he's down. Okay, they were asking him to play it cool and act normal and be friends with LeBron and AD, regardless, in the public's eye. And he went against that grain at that, at that summer league game. He said, F them niggas, you know, F them dudes. I'm about to just um, do me. I'm going to sit over here and not talk to any of them dudes. You know what I mean? And then, and then his... His agent's like, yo, nobody's calling. I think you need to stay with the Lakers. <laughs> and he's like, yo, they basically dis disagree. And, and in reconcilable differences, that means that they were on complete opposite ends, probably arguing, probably arguing. This is a man, his agent who had been with him for 14 years, basically directed his path, his whole career got him chance after chance, got Russell Westbrook to the Rockets when he wanted to be, got him to the Wizards. Uh, where he thrived and then got him to the Lakers. And this man fires him because he has some more wisdom for him. Play out your last year. Showed us you are still a $47 million player so you can get, so we can get another big check. Russell Westbrook probably wanted the buyout. Honestly, probably wanted the buyout. And his agent's like, yo, you get a buyout, you might get $40 million here, but your next, you're going to be down at a mid level, mid level check for the rest of your career. Russ is like, nah, man, you got me messed up. I'm, I'm just guessing. But when you say irreconcilable differences, this is what that is. Those are the things that leads to divorce in this world. So I got to say, man, Russell Westbrook seems to be back on track for 
for the chess game. Because now he's all buddy buddy. There's reports of them hanging out and being here and there yesterday. Nah, bro. He has to be like that. He has to do that. Even if he wants to get traded somewhere, he has to. If he wants to be off the Lakers, he has to do that. Period. It, period. If that's what he wants, which is obvious, that's what he wants, he has to actually pretend to be enjoying his time with the Lakers. <laughs> Nobody's picking up a disgruntled Westbrook. So this move might not be made for another month, but I mean, the season doesn't, training camp doesn't start till September. So don't believe the media, man. They, they prey on your impatience and they prey on, you know, you're not really paying, reading between the lines because they try to create the lines for you. You know what I mean? Ma the mass media. They try to create the lines, the narrative, and then guide you to that narrative, you know, with their topics of conversation and how they kind of shove it down our throats. So, everybody bless up, man. Appreciate you watching the video. Little, little episode, man. I, I, I got to get back on it, but, you know. This Kyrie Irving thing is crazy because it, they literally said, him and uh, KD tweeted, this is chess, not checkers. A few months ago Maybe a month ago Like a week after the season ended, Two weeks after the season ended, They both tweeted This is chess not checkers And look at what we're doing here Look at what we're doing They got the media Looking stupid All these shows Looking dumb Because they don't They don't know nothing They don't know anything And speculation Sounds like speculation You know what I'm saying All they can do Is speculate for months And months That That's what Kyrie Irving And KD want it's, that's that's an exposure of the media right there. Now all they're doing is starting rumors and spreading that rumor, and then re-releasing that rumor as truth. That's exactly what they have against the media, and that's exactly what's happening. Peace out, y'all.